What's up guys, it's Ugly Stu here and welcome back to my Let's Play Memento Mori. We're on map 25 cesspool. And um, I'm just going to start off by saying this is the ugliest map in Memento Mori. Now I know I've talked a lot of shit about, you know, kinetics and stoned, about how bad those maps are. And I'm not going to lie, the maps were shit. Those stoned was probably the worst map in this whole WAD file. However, it's not the ugliest. This one would definitely have to take the cake. The textures and just detail and everything about it is just hideous. And the way you have to play the level to get everything just makes no fucking sense. Like, I felt like I just took a hit of fucking acid and LSD and just took every fucking drug and then played this. I mean, it just makes no fucking sense. And the first thing about it is in order to access all the um, secrets, the first five have to be accessed within the first 30 seconds of the level. So let's do that first. Come in here, that's first secret. Come in here, second secret. Come in here, the third secret. Right, once the left side is done, run across. Come in the mega armor one, fourth secret. This secret, here. Time is of the essence, make sure you hit everything and you'll hear everything close. You know, you're probably thinking, oh, sure, we forgot the one with the radiation suit over there. No, nah, we'll be able to hit that one later, so that's why I kind of left that one alone. Um, this is how you access your red skull key. Come up here. Hit that wall. Take this lift. Ride it to the top. You have the red key. Stupid as shit. I know. But anyway. Uh, you can open both of these doors by hitting these switches right here. However, we're going to hit the right one first. Like, why make a switch so tiny? Shoot through and hit that wall, like, in the way back on the other side. And that will open this up. Okay, I guess everything died. Open this window and reveal a stupid trap. I think everything is dead. Alright, cool. Uh, chain gun, I guess. Hit that switch. Shoot that switch. And now you'll be able to access this section. And this is hideous. Yeah, no, I'm not glitching through the map again. That's actually how this map was designed. They used the little uh, deep water effect, as they like to call it. It's hideous. I hate it. It's ugly and dumb and pointless. Anyway, you can pick up your yellow key in this little area, hit this wall, and you could ride it to the top like an elevator. Um, and that's it for this room, so now we're going to backtrack. We're going to go on the opposite side this time. Uh, hit the window, and that area will open up, and it's a bunch of chain gunners and some nasty shit in there. And there's actually nothing outside that window. Which I guess is cool. Come in here and that's actually a secret. Make sure you enter it in the tags. Um, i trying to think. Oh, we'll actually hit this one while we're back here. If you come up to this window right here, like the... I don't even know why those toggle. Hit it, shoot it, and it'll open this in the back. And we don't want to grab that Megasphere yet. Because you'll need it later. Um, now we could actually enter... Our secret area that we opened before, where the blue key is, uh, go in there, and you'll actually teleport in, and it'll be secret. I think there's actually two secrets at toggle, and another secret, and some a lot of radiation suits, even though you only need one. And this is actually the sixth area of that, um, the starting part right here that we actually entered. And now with the rad suits, we could go up here, hit the switch, shoot that one. You ready for that guy? And some more deep shit. Literally. It's fucking hideous. You can't even see anything in this portion. It's just dumb. Okay. Hit the wall next to the poison sign. And you can ride to the top as you did the last one. Maybe a soul sphere up there. 
Uh, this wall, this floor, however, is damaging. Uh, the first area, I forgot to mention, uh, the first area where the blood was, um, that wasn't damaging. However, the green slime is. So that's why all the radiation suits are good. These guys don't wake up for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, hit this. That'll open. Yeah, you actually have to hit those. They're just not there for shits and giggles. They're actual switches. See? Same thing on the other side. And now we could tap both of these. And reveal some pinkies behind you. This map is... It's dumb. This is like an... This should be like map 12 or something. Not fucking after what we just did with the Kasalis. That teleporter just brings you to the beginning. So we will enter these areas right here. They just have a big wad of nothing. Ignore that Iraqi shot up there. If you hit that right side, just tap it and that'll be another secret. That's our 11th. And we will go get our 12th secret on this other side, which is oddly symmetrical. That side, I believe. Oh no, maybe it is that side. Nope, wait. There, no, it wasn't side. Okay, grab your supercharge. Come up here. That actually did a lot more damage than it was supposed to. I'll actually, stay above that so you can't hurt me anymore. I'm actually gonna go grab that Megasphere at the beginning because I might need that. Ah, oh, man. The enemies. There's a teleporter in the next area. Um, that will teleport enemies to the beginning, um, and they sometimes start teleporting early, as you can see. Is it this one that we have to take? No, it's the other one. Wait, no, it is that one. I see, it's very damaging, as a matter of fact. Uh, take out your BFG for this. Um, come down here. Yeah, this part is like, you really can't do much from up here, so just drop down. The Spider Mastermind can help, but I like to take him out just because he likes to get in the way. Come back here, use a rocket launcher, and immediately start firing into this uh, what is it? This teleporter right here because enemies will be coming in, and you will see what spawns in. Sometimes they like it, like to take him out. And if they do, then I like to come out here and take these guys out while they wait. Making sure everything awakens over there is like the hardest part. Because sometimes I'll like forget an imp. Hello, Cacti. Stop moving! Alright, yeah, so those guys are all dead, but we're still missing a few monsters. And here they come. Yeah, I don't know what toggles them to spawn in. Yeah, one of them is an arch vial. Where is he? I don't know. And I'm afraid to leave because I don't want him to come out and start spawning or reviving everything. Like... Oh, no, no, don't exit. I hear him, so maybe he's in the other room? No, oh, Hell Knight is, though. Now we have to run, 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 run our way back. Before he starts reviving everything. Monsters up, there is. Hold on, I'm making a video. Mama Strew just got home. Whatever, I don't know where that last monster is. He's probably waiting to be spawned in. I'm not going to waste my time with him, so we're just going to leave. Can I exit, please? That's says pulled by William Sullivan. That was enough kills. I don't like playing this map. It's aggravating. It's annoying. It's ugly. I hate looking at it. 
but that's about it. I don't have much else to say about it. I just thank God it's over. We will move on to Between Scattered Corpses. And that's about it, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.